the resurrection of Lazarus. We know that this took place a week before, just a week before the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel story of the resurrection of the righteous Lazarus. Lazarus, one of the beloved friends of Jesus Christ, many a time, the uh, Jesus and the uh, the disciples and apostles went to Lazarus's house, where his sisters Martha and Mary would cook for them and, of course, uh, tend to them to their needs. Uh, it seems that Lazarus was quite well off, so he was able to do this for Jesus Christ. So the righteous Lazarus, one of the earliest depictions in Christian uh, pictorial art, most likely the iconography tradition of the resurrection of Lazarus formed early in the celebration of this gospel event. We know that he was resurrected in Jerusalem, but then he went to live in Cyprus. So his second tomb is, in fact, in Cyprus. Now, this theme can be found in the earliest of Christian monuments and was preserved to our days, including wall paintings in the catacombs and base reliefs on sarcophaguses as well. So it's logical that the catacomb of frescoes and base reliefs are connected with the theme of the resurrection from the dead and the victory over death. The artists needed to express their faith, faith in the deliverance from original sin and the decay and death that goes along with it. The theme of the resurrection of Lazarus points to the future general resurrection and therefore it often appears in burial sites. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So here we are. This is one of the frescoes. The Resurrection of the Righteous Lazarus. Lazarus, fresco from the catacomb of Giordani in Rome, 4th century. And you can see this is supposedly the tomb of Lazarus. And Lazarus is still bound. And with the uh, order from the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ, here he's, Christ is depicted uh, dressed basically as, you know, a, a high to a heaton, um, uh, without long hair and without a beard. Basically, he looks like a Roman, but anyway, uh, this is many time we see in the frescoes of Rome, Christ depicted as in this event. Of course, let's remember this was 4th century, and um, this is supposed to be Lazarus, Lazarus still bound right there. And uh, we know that they were, uh, when the binding, that's something else we should look into, the binding of uh, how the Hebrews uh, prepared their deceased. They would bind them with these cloth strips, and then they would pour a special mixture of myrrh and uh, uh, alloys that turn into a quick type of setting cement. So this thing was like a cocoon type of thing. It, turned, it formed into a cocoon. Uh, it was very hard. Um, and this, remember, he was already dead four days. And what happens, I had asked, nothing is, is by mistake in the way it's written in the Bible. I had asked the doctor, what's the difference between a, a human body being deceased uh, two or days or three days or four days? Uh, you know, what happens? And the doctor said on the fourth day, between the third and fourth day, the intestines, uh, because of the chemical reactions that take place in the body, you know, with all these uh, fermentations and stuff, it splits open. So it splits open. That's why the, the sisters of Lazarus had told our Lord Jesus Christ that, you know, it's a four, it's, he's been in there four days already, and uh, he's going to be putrid because they knew that, you know, this would have been exploded from the, from the gas fermentations and everything. But um, now in the early mo uh, monuments of Christian and art and resurrection of Lazarus, uh, laconically presented in the form of two figures, the depictions of Christ were just beginning to form in that period. He's shown with a beard and long hair, also beardless youth in Christ's hand. A light stick in this case here he's also holding a parchment and uh, this is a sarcophagus as we could say he's showing uh, uh, 
He's shown with a beard, long hair, also beardless youth, light stick, a tribute to of a miracle worker as a symbol that would have been understood by people of the time. And with time, the stick is transformed into a short staff, a royal staff, then it disappears altogether. God does not need an instrument to work a miracle. His will is sufficient. Furthermore, the depiction gradually became more evangelically exact. In the text of John, the Gospel of John, the Savior's word addressed to God the Father and his command to Lazarus is very precisely written. Lazarus, come forth in, J in John 11, 41. And there's Lazarus, as we can see, still bound up. And Lazarus' sisters um, thanking our Lord Jesus Christ. And here's another depiction of the sarcophagus, as we can see. And here, is, Jesus appears to have some kind of a beard, but it's sort of worn off, we don't know. And um, there's Lazarus still bound up. This is at the Church of St. Vitali, Ravenna, Italy, again, 4th century, as you can see. And then we have other here, artists from the eastern province of the Byzantine Empire. And this is Greek writing, of course. Uh, Anastasi Lazaru, uh, the resurrection of, of Lazarus. And um, this is in, that is in a cave in a rocky hillside. Gradually, the composition of the tombs were filled with details. Martha, Mary, and the Jews opened the tomb, and the man who removes the grave cloth from the resurrected Lazarus began to be depicted also. And there are the two sisters right there. It's a fresco in the church of Tokali Kilis in what is today Cappadocia, Turkey. This is supposed to be 9th or 10th century fresco. Okay. This is Jesus Christ here. This is Jesus Christ here. Oops. And this is another fresco here. Russia, 1313. You can see the blessing. Jesus Christ here has a beard blessing. And Lazarus, of course. And here again. The Resurrection Lazarus, miniature from Gospels in Rosanna Museum, Italy, 4th century. And there we have a better depiction, 4th century. Here, of course, we have the sisters uh, bowing and thanking Christ. And here, Christ has long hair and a beard, as you can see. Okay, more here. Sanai, the uh, monastery of St. Catherine in Sanai, 8th century, as you can see here. Okay, he's still bound, as you can see. Here again. As you can see, these other uh, icons, were, this one is uh, 1341, they're basically the copies of these. They copy the structure of the former icons, you see. Okay, the sisters, the Christ, and of course, Lazarus. And here again, basically the same type of motif. Uh, this is mid 11th century at the Walters Museum. Okay, Byzantine icon, as you can see. And of course, this is gold leaf around the edges. Gold leaf. And again, another one, basically the same motif, as you can see. Again, the same motif as the sisters here, Lazarus bound up, and uh, 15th century, again here 15th century, 14th century, and again the same motif as you can see, the sisters, Christ on this side, Lazarus on this side, bound up, again the same motif. Tiki of Monastery, 1560s, as you can see here. Again, the same type of motif, 1640s. So, um, yes, you can see that they basically copy each other with a few alterations. This one, as we said, is the 4th century. So it could be that they basically copied this, which was one of the first that we see here. They basically copied this scene because it was the oldest from what we see here, 4th century. Okay, And everything else was after that, basically copying this motif. 
So I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you for your support.